Hello, today I'm going to show you how to fillet a sea brim. So this is the sea brim here. Beautiful fish. Okay. This is a black sea brim. And before I fillet this fish, there's a couple of things or a few things I want to cover with you about how to identify a really fresh fish. So if you look at this fish here, the first thing you want to do is you want to touch it. Now it should be quite firm. If it's soft, it's not fresh. It should be nice and firm to the touch. Also, when you touch it, there should be a nice film of kind of slime on it. Like it's just come out of the sea, if you imagine it like that. Also, you want to check the eye. Check that it's bright. Okay, check the eye is bright. Also, check the gills. The gills should be nice and pink or red, like this one. They shouldn't be brown. If they're brown or discoloured, that means it's kind of on its way out. But this one's nice and bright. The eye is bright. It's nice and firm. It's a bit slimy. And yeah, so let me just remove the head and the guts first. That's the first stage of filleting a fish. Okay. Put the fish there like so. Just grab my knife. Right, so the first thing you want to do. First thing you want to do is obviously this has already been scaled off. Um, the first thing I want to do is remove the head. Okay? And then after that, I'm going to make an incision from here all the way to here and then the guts will kind of reveal themselves and then you want to wash the insides so the first thing is to make an incision if you can see these two fins here that's kind of a natural line of where you want to cut from and you don't want to cut like this because if you cut vertically straight you're wasting quite a lot of the um, you're wasting quite a lot of the meat and you're going to put it on the head side whereas you want it on the fillet side so you want to cut around 45 degree angle like so okay that's the first thing I'm going to do so if you can see here okay so just identify that line okay come up to there then you've got the center bone there just up to there do the same again on the other side so identify that line from here to here 45 degree angle okay the next thing I want to do is get go through the the um, the centre bone like so, okay. And then I'm just going to wash the inside. So remove the head. Kept the head in a tray because we're going to use this afterwards. I can use that for stock, okay, for a nice dashi. And then make that incision I was talking about. And there you see all the kind of guts, so we can get rid of that. Ideally you can do this in a sink, but just to demonstrate to you at home. Okay. And then with a knife, just go and follow the center bone. Because that's what you want to wash. And that's where all the blood is, so that's what you want to wash later. So let's put that in the sink. Okay, so if you follow me to the sink. So under a running tap, not too hard. Okay. You wanna basically what this is, these are skewers, wooden skewers, and I've tied it off with some elastic band. And this is gonna act as um, just a little device for me to get rid of that blood. Be careful not to go too deep because you will end up damaging the, the fillets. So, so let's get rid of all these bits. Okay. Okay, and all these little loose bits you want to get rid of. Okay. Right, so now that we've washed the fish we can pat it down with some kitchen towel and just dry the inside and then dry off the outside, get rid of that excess water, like so. And then we're ready to fill it. So, first, first thing you want to do is remove the right hand side fillet. So if you're looking at the fish from above, the right hand side first. So the first incision we want to make is from the belly all the way down to the tail. Okay? 
And after that, we want to go from the tail, going as close to the centre bone as possible to avoid any wastage, slightly angling the knife down, and then coming across all the way to the head, and then we'll remove the first fillet, okay? So let me show you the first incision. Okay. Just take your time. You can hear the bone there, okay? Next side. From the tailbone all the way to the head. Going as close to that as possible. Okay, next incision. Okay. You want to hear the bone with your knife? Okay. And then Lastly, okay, let's go to the centre bone there. Sorry, one thing I should have done was come a bit more across here. Okay, and then I'm going to remove this last. There you go. That is one fillet off. Okay. Then the other side, you want to go from the head to the tail, same, same, same way, as close to the centre bone as possible, and then from the tail, this one to the belly, okay? Exactly the same principle. Gonna hit bone there. Out. Try and wipe your blade after each cut. There's a lot of oil on the fish, so you want to get remove that from the from the blade. Like so. Okay. This. There you go. That's two fillets. So obviously the bones here we can use for we can use the bones for uh, dashi stock, and we can use all the meat on this. Okay. So you can see it's translucent, which means that it's kind of limited wastage. Okay. So we're going to hold on to this, and then with these fillets, you want to remove the the uh, stomach or the belly bones. Okay. So that's what we're going to do next. So, just wipe that blade. Okay, like so. Okay, and then try not to waste any of this flesh. Okay, hold on to that as well. Can use that. So, remove the, the belly bones from this side. Let's get the back of your knife there. Come up. Okay. And we can use this for stock again later. And that's it. So depending on how you're going to use the fish, you can remove the bones, the pin bones if you wish. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So what you want is a bowl of water, a cloth and some tweezers. So you want to remove the bone from the head through to the tail. The tail section won't have many bones, or it won't have any bones from, I'd say, I can feel the bones here, from here onwards. Just use the tip of your finger to feel the bones, okay? So I'll remove the first one here. And use your left hand to hold onto the meat so it doesn't come off. Okay. There's another bone here. Last one, and then pat with pat the tweezer on the towel to get rid of the excess water.
okay? And I can feel with the tip of my finger that there aren't any bones left. And that's one fillet ready for cooking. Okay. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.